the three-legged box spread option strategy. Whether you only have a few thousand dollars or a large sum to invest, the three-legged box spread is one of the best option strategies available for retail investors today. You can try all kinds of strategies, but this is one of the best. The appealing thing about the three-legged box is that its execution is easy, while its results are reliable and consistent. We would call the three-legged box spread a lifestyle type trade, meaning that you don't have to keep watching the market for most of the day. It's also the type of setup which, once entered, only requires monitoring a few times a week in conjunction with setting up an alert with your broker as to when a target price in your underlying instrument has been reached. It's not a day trading nor a high frequency trading system. Nor is it about scalping or forex trading or binary options. You could almost call it the perfect option strategy. So let's look at some benefits of the three-legged box. You get a high profit to loss ratio. You don't need to get a high percentage of trades correct to make an overall profit. Flexibility. There are many variations on how you choose to enter the trade. Longer expiration dates. It gives you plenty of time to be right and less account churning, which means turning over your money many times and paying multiple brokerage commissions. A clearly defined loss. Over hundreds of trades, the average loss is about $413, and you don't need to place stops. Defined profit targets. The average profit is about $1,340. Very easy to open and close trades. No complicated spreads. No overnight worries such as big moves, price gapping, or assignment of stock. Clear entry and exit points. No adjustments necessary. It just works or it doesn't. Relaxed, informed and thoughtful trading. No need for placing stops because a maximum loss is already built in. You can trade it with just one contract and keep brokerage commissions low. This system is more effective than most other option spreads. With the three-legged box spread, it doesn't matter what kind of market volatility conditions you're trading in. The VIX indicator could be high, above 40, because market price movements are volatile. Or it could be low, that is below 20, because market conditions are complacent. It doesn't matter. This type of trade works just as well either way. Now here's an important trading tip. If you specialize in your trading style, you will make a lot more money than if you're trying different things. This is because you'll perfect your technique and have in-depth knowledge about your strategy. The three-legged box might just be the best one for you. You have to treat this like a business and this means an expectation of a profit. Studying volatility and understanding what kind of market you're in increases the percentage of profitable trades that you'll make. The three-legged box spread has limited risk but unlimited profits to the upside. So what's a box spread? Before we can talk about a three-legged box spread, we first need to understand what a regular box spread is. It's a trade that has four option legs at two different strike prices, which, if purchased for less than the difference of the strike prices, gives you a guaranteed profit. So let's break down a box spread into its components with the added feature of the options delta. Looking at the graph above, where the underlying stock is trading at $67.50, the 55 calls would be in the money, while the 75 puts would be out of the money. This being the case, we can speculate that the delta on the call options would be about 0.89, while the puts, being out of the money, would have a delta of 0.11. Adding the two deltas together would give us a combined delta of one. Now if we were to simultaneously buy a 55 call and sell a 55 put under these conditions, we would create what is called a synthetic stock position. It would be much cheaper than buying the underlying stock, but in terms of price movement would produce exactly the same profit or loss as if we had owned 100 shares of the underlying stock. 
If we were to do the same thing on the 75 calls and puts per the chart above, we would create what is called a synthetic short stock position. The effect would be just the same as if we had short sold the underlying stock. So by creating a regular box spread with just one contract for each leg, we achieve the same thing as if we had bought 100 of the underlying stock at $55 and short sold 100 shares of the same stock at $75. One counterbalances the other, but with a $20 difference in between. Now here's the trick. If you can enter the four legs of this trade for less than $20, the difference in strikes, including brokerage commissions, then you can forget it until option expiration date when you will make a guaranteed profit. Unfortunately, it is very difficult for retail traders to put a full box spread trade on and make any money. Floor traders can do it because they don't pay brokerage commissions and if they can buy it for less than $20, they will make a guaranteed profit. However, there are some retail traders who have legged into the box spread one strike at a time and done so in a retail environment to their advantage. If your expiration dates are far enough away, giving you enough time to get the initial direction right, you can lock in profits. Having established a foundation with the box spread concept, now we can progress into looking at the long three-legged box spread. Instead of having four option legs which creates a box, we're only going to have three legs in this spread. So taking the example we've been looking at, if we remove the 55 long call option from the spread, we have a basic long three-legged box spread. So we're going to be buying a 65 call, selling a 65 put, buying a 55 put. We would put this trade on if we anticipate the future price of the underlying to rise by at least 5% before option expiration. So in this case it would be $67.50 multiplied by 1.05 which equals $70.88 or $71 to keep it simple. Notice that all the strike prices are below the current market price of $67.50. This long three-legged box gives us a predefined loss on the trade which means we don't need any stops. It also satisfies our broker's margin requirements because we are not overexposed to risk. If this stock doesn't move, the sold 65 put will generate some theta premium for us. We essentially have a bear put credit spread alongside a long at the money call position. Let's take a look at the profit graph at expiration. If the stock goes nowhere, we have a maximum loss of $230. If the price action goes against us, our maximum loss will be $520. But if the price action goes in our favour, then a 5% upward move will give us a target profit of $1480. If we're lucky and see a 10% move, we realise a profit of $2960 on just one contract. Once in a while we will hit the jackpot when a news event, earnings report or takeover bid causes a price spike in our favour. Sometimes the market will initially go against us, but then will reverse and go in our favour. Using the three-legged box, we have plenty of time for it to do so. The short three-legged box spread. Coming back to our example, if we remove the sold $80 put options from the regular box spread, we're going to sell $70 calls, buy $70 puts and buy $80 calls. It's simply the reverse of the long three-legged box spread previously described. Looking at the profit graph, a 5% fall in the underlying means a profit of $1480, while a 10% fall in share price will reward us with $2960 profit. If the price of the underlying stock or ETF rises instead of falling as we anticipated, our maximum loss will be $520. If it goes nowhere, we lose a maximum $230. All the above figures are based upon using only one contract for each leg of the spread. 
If you traded two contracts per leg, you would double your profit potential as well as your potential loss levels, and so on. Here are some things to keep in mind before entering a three-legged box spread. You have to know the kind of market you're getting into, especially the historical volatility of the underlying stock. You're looking for a stock, ETF or commodity future, for which you believe the market price will move at least 5% before your options expire. You also need to choose a financial instrument that has a liquid options market for this to work. Implied volatility in the options can provide opportunities for variations in the strike prices that you choose. You should also never use two times or three times ETFs. These are designed for day trading and can hurt you. You should also prefer a financial instrument that is trading in the $100 price range. This makes the 5% rule, as outlined earlier, much easier to calculate. Historically speaking, stocks in the $100 price range are more likely to move the required 5% for this strategy to work effectively. Typically, we would not hold a three-legged box till expiration date. We choose options which have six to nine months until expiration. This gives us plenty of time to be right. Let's have a look at a three-legged box spread variation example. If we can't get a favourable payoff diagram due to the implied volatility in the options being unfavourable, we can create a slightly skewed three-legged box which converts it into something more favourable. So experiment with strike prices and analyse. Here's another example of a three-legged box taken on the DIA or the Diamonds ETF which is based on the Dow index. Notice the initial strike prices which are around the DIA when it is trading at $170.50. But due to the implied volatility in the options, we might choose to buy a 165 put instead of the 170. There are a number of stocks and ETFs that trade on the US markets that work well with the three-legged box spread strategy. For more information about box spreads and other great option strategies, visit optionstradingmastery.com.